Well, greetings, my dear truth seekers. The order signed by the US president to release a record amount of oil from strategic reserves didn't help stop inflation and rising gasoline and diesel fuel prices in America. Seeing how mass protests of people began in Europe against the increase in prices for fuel and fertilizers, the United States decided not to take risks and continued to buy oil and resumed purchases of mineral fertilizers from Russia. All these purchases take place against the backdrop of sanctions that the United States itself has imposed on Russia. The Security Council of Russia confirms that the United States not only didn't abandon Russian oil, but also increased its purchases by 43%. Deputy Secretary of the Security Council of the Russian Federation, Mikhail Popov, said that the United States forced the European countries to impose sanctions against Russia, but at the same time Washington still continues to buy oil and fertilizers from Russia in huge quantities. At the same time, Popov stressed that Europe should expect other similar surprises from the United States. Experts also drew attention to the fact that the United States didn't abandon Russian oil. In particular, Ukrainian expert and blogger Tatyana Mantian said that American refineries are still heavily dependent on Russian oil. She noted that all this indicates that the United States will hypocritically continue to import Russian oil. The United States will not comply with its sanctions against Russia, said Tatyana Mantian. In Europe, some politicians have already reacted to such US actions, saying that the European Union should demand an explanation from Washington, as this undermines confidence in the unity of the West.